Thank you. Uh, please. I, uh, Nico sort of looks like uh, the undercover cop that they send into predominantly black neighborhoods. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey Bomber. <laughs> Nick, you look like a serial killer who specializes in killing conversations. Watch yourself. Uh, I, uh, no, uh, Nico, uh, I think you're sporting your fanny pack tonight. Is that right? Yeah. That's cool. That's a good look. I, I think it's a smart move because... Uh, it lets women know that he's a kind, thoughtful, uh, sensitive guy, while at the same time giving him a place to store his date rate pills. So. Uh, Nick is a quarter Mexican, uh, which begs the question, which one of your ancestors raped their kid's nanny? <laughs> Um, so Nico is an improviser, uh, at least formerly an improviser, uh, and it really comes in handy with women because whenever they ask him if he has any STDs, uh, he can say yes and... <laughs> They are spreading rapidly. Uh, uh, Nick is a writer who's written hundreds of articles about the San Francisco Giants for a blog online, which means he's not really a writer. Uh, in fact, the only time he's gotten paid for his writing is when a dispensary is offering a free pre-roll for a Google review. Very good. Um, uh, Good stuff. I, um, you know, uh, Nico's uh, parents are both uh, academics, and they actually knew uh, Barack Obama before he was president. Um, and I don't mean to stir the pot, but um, <laughs> there are some rumors out there that uh, Nico is actually the illegitimate son of Barack. Um, which, if you think about it, actually makes a lot of sense because both Nico and Barack are great at bombing in front of innocent civilians. So. Name, last name is San Miguel, which stands for, uh, which translates to Saint Michael, uh, which, as you know, is the patron saint of buying handles for teenage girls and asking them, "So, what's up tonight?" <laughs> Got any teens? I, I no. Uh, you guys actually might recognize Nico. I, I don't know why he feels the need to, to do this show. He's he's so well known. Um, you guys probably see him a lot, uh, mainly in, in commercials uh, during NFL games. You, you probably know him better as uh, Jake from Self Harm. Um, so. Why do you think I'm wearing these sleeves right now? Uh, uh, Nick volunteered for Biden's campaign, which allowed him to pursue his passion for sending unwanted messages to women. That's a battle! <laughs> That's a battle! Give it up for him, Nico and Nick! Hell of a debut! Oh my god, shaming anyone with remotely having the name Nicholas, but we move on. Tori Kilkenny, judge these men who I know you want to judge. Uh, well, Nick, you really dressed the part because tonight you were a true killer. Um, shockingly, this time not of women. Uh, the way you got that thing all the way zipped up, my god. Okay. <laughs> 
But I, I do got to give it to you. You did a great job. Very, very excellently told jokes. Thank you. All right. There we go. One for the Unabomber. One for the Unabomber. All right. There we go. All right. Who wants to go to S? Evan, you want to hop in there? You want to hop in there, bud? Sure. I'll jump in. I, I just want to say that between the fanny pack and the everything about you, you guys proved it's true. Autism speaks. All right? It's... <laughs> This was fun to watch. Uh, I thought you both were really, really funny. Nick, I liked your cadence and your joke writing a little better, so I'm going to give it to Nick, though. All right, two for Nick, two for Nick. All right, Aaron Weber, how are you? Understand. The last guy's name was Greco, and then they're like, up next, Nico. <laughs> what is going I don't know. I don't know if any of this is real. Also, the last two felt like they were friends. Do y'all do y'all know each other or like each other at all? You guys buddies? Yeah. Okay, that did, that did not come across, just so you know. You're both very funny. Nick, I'm going to give you the vote because you made fun of improv, and I, I got a source, source right. place for that, so thank you. Take that, Second City. You hear us? Yeah. All right, Nick gets it, but I want to hear from Josh Adam Meyer. All right. First of all, both of you guys did a fantastic job. Um, Nico, right? I, I want to give it to you because I feel bad that you got more white in you than black. Do you know what I mean? In the mix. Oh, dude. Is he Jewish, too? Oh, dude. Oh, maybe I will give it to you. You both did phenomenal. Let's just say that straight away. You both did phenomenal. Um, I, I, loved, I loved a lot of your shit. I really liked your overall everything that you did up there because it felt like one cohesive bit. Uh, but you both did phenomenal. But I'm going to give it to you, Nick. All right. And you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous, by the way. Gorgeous. I'm not good at being me. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.